All right, this is Michael. I'm here with the Cincinnati Hero and with the Black God Project. And man, we are at GDEX. I have a great uh, game developer right here. Introduce yourself and introduce your game, please. This is James from Naked Cat Studios. We make new games for old consoles, and right now we're pushing log jammers. It's on Kickstarter for 12 more days. Awesome. What's the inspiration for this? So you probably got the idea if you play wind jammers. Log jammers is based off of those fundamentals. We just kicked it up with some cat style. So five times faster, tons of items, unique character abilities, special attacks, and it's fine-tuned for competitive gameplay. But tell us where it came from, the, the inspiration. Well, first, let me start with this. You ever seen a zombie so rotten that it, it feels and looks like his skin is a plastic bag full of mayonnaise? That's Mayo, Mayonnaise Monsoon, Mayo from Mayor. He's probably the fastest, best dude in that game. Then we have uh, Sparrow Bonaparte. And that's the inspiration right there. That's Andy, our lead designer. <laughs> oh, brother! You guys talking about spare rib over here? Oh my here. God, we are! It's <laughs> my dude. He's based off of me. It, we live the same life. We're both party skeletons. He's just the original party skeleton. <laughs> That's true, man. He's pretty thick, though. Yeah. Anyway, this guy just started to learn the log life. Ooh. You know, he was he was up on me. You know, two one. I, I gave him a taste of my special. I gave him a dunk. I'm new. It was it was uh, you know it was a bit of a learning curve. I unplugged his controller. You know, I pulled it right. I'm like, no USB. Classic. I'm food. like, oh no, you lost again. Classic. Food. <laughs> that was pretty fun. But you said the earlier game was based on a '90s video wood game, wood jammers, and you basically just took kind of took the concept and took the base the recipe, thing. distilled it, added tons of cat. All right, man. What was the the inspiration for this though? Like, I'm sorry if I asked this already. Oh yeah, but yeah. Like, like, why did you really want to do so, this? We call it like the retro ethos. We love pixel art and couch co-op. So we took some of our favorite games and thought, if we were game designers, what would we do that would be fun? And easily, Windjammer is one of my top 10 all-time co-op games. Oh, yeah. sure. So what I love about Windjammers is the competitive replayability. So we took that with Log Jammers and made it faster and crazier, adding a little bit more depth that wasn't there with the first version. Awesome, man. And uh, basically, you're here at GDEX. Tell us what GDEX means to you. So GDEX is the East Coast GDC. It's up and coming, a couple years in. Every year we come here, what I love about it is we get a tons of great, long engagement. So even though we don't get 20,000 people at the booth, we'll get a few hundred people that stay for 30, 45 minutes and give us tons of valuable feedback. And that's what makes a game good, is getting good community testing. And mayonnaise. Awesome. But you said you had, there's a character called Mayo for mayor. Oh, He's yeah. a big guy. That's my dude. He just described him earlier. Tell us more about your characters. You said he's based on one. Tell us more about your characters. Because <laughs> the characters are crazy. The whole concept is like, it's, so, it's like a, it's crazy. Three facts about Mayo. When you score on him, he vomits mayonnaise. And the sound effects are actually just a cat getting tickled. Okay. <laughs> Second fact about Mayo. There's a ton of, ton of deep lore fact into the game. He was running for mayor. He's a community leader. So just because he looks gross on the outside, we want to tell a story and teach people a lesson that there's more than what that, you know, the, the, the aesthetics of your rotten zombie. That zombies can do good. Zombies can be good. Zombies can be competitive athletes. That's only something Logjammers has. Yeah, once you get past that gross exterior, there's just sweet, sweet mayo inside. And, you know, I helped, uh, I helped create mayo as part of the inspiration. I wish I could say I was the artist or the developer. I was more like the mayo ideation and inspiration. He modeled for us while he made them. Also, I love mayonnaise, man. It's really? a sick problem. <laughs> my wife makes up, we call it fat sauce at home. It's nasty. Amanda, I'm looking at you right now. Oh, my God. All right, this is GDEX. You have a good GDEX story for us? Oof. Let's see. My, my best GDEX story, last year I had somebody after the 16-bit bar GDEX after party oh, yeah. actually brought us a Costco half case of mayo. Wish I could say I was making it up, man. You know what's so funny about real. it? We're bringing it back. It broke in my gym bag, had to retire that gym bag. It's nasty, but it's true. It's so I, real. I, I want to keep it real with you when we're talking about log jammers. That's gross. That's super gross. It's gross, but it's personal. Where can we buy log jammers? It's on Kickstarter right now. Okay. Makecatstudios.com. There's a big mayonnaise banner right in the main page. I'm sorry? You got it. Makecatstudios.com. Guys, go see it. Basically, Megacat Studio Kickstarter. This game is pretty fun. It's a throwback. Mm. Now, would you say this is like a niche market? Because it's a throwback game from the 90s. Every niche needs addressed. Every niche? Yeah, every niche needs addressed. You need to, everyone that has a flavor of games are into. Mm. You know, Windjammers was re-released last year, the PS4. Mm. So it's not so niche. 
that, that people aren't playing it. I think Log Jammers has something to give anyone who's a fan of Wind Jammers and the people who haven't heard of Wind Jammers. Hopefully, Log Jammers gives them their first taste. That of mayo, though. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> you have anything to say to your viewers or supporters or anyone at all? Man, I think I said enough. I feel good about it. I want you to come play Lodge Jammers. We got a ton of keys, freebies if you want to stream it. If you don't want to stream it, you can still get a freebie key. Just email Andy. That's a dog tag. You only get that going to war with me. No one survives. That's how we identify the body. No survivor. Hey, 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 hey. I lost, whatever, whatever. But this is pretty cool. This website's pretty cool. The game's pretty fun. Um, yeah, no, any, we just checked all the boxes with that, man. That was the best wrap-up. <laughs> any other, anything else to say? Well, where can we find you? Megacatstudios.com. No uh, Instagram, Twitter, anything like that? It's all Megacat Studios. Yeah. Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, right. Craigslist. I said Craigslist. I got my own Craigslist. Pet Finder. You, you, ever see, you ever see my Pet Finder ad? <laughs> it's like, you like cats? You like video games? Man, I'm trying to get friends. They use this website for that? <laughs> hey, man. I've been having fun at GDEX. Come here next year, meet these guys, play their mm. game. It's fun. GDEX, everyone should come check it out.